Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the infinite versions of our universe. Okay. Let's start off at the beginning. Well, the beginning of what is our observable universe, which was the Big Bang that happened 13.8 billion years ago. This is when our observable universe was born, which is finite, but the universe itself, which our universe is a small part of, is infinite and could have been born infinite. Since we can put a timeline on when our universe came into existence, which is that 13.8 billion years we just talked about, we can place a timeline on the things in our own universe. Everything in our universe is finite. But beyond our universe and the stars and galaxies and matter and all of that sciencey stuff, is the universe, which would lead us to believe that there are many more infinite universes that are just like our own, but that are beyond our knowledge because of the fact that the speed of light, as well as the beginning of ours, the Big Bang, is finite. If there is an infinite amount of universe out there, then it only seems reasonable to believe that the same sort of creation of our finite universe happened an infinite amount of times. In our number nine spot today, we have infinite universes. Piggybacking off of that last point, we have the fact that there just might be even more universes. Like, not just more of our kind of universe, but more of THE universe. The Big Bang started off our universe, but it was not the beginning of everything. The Big Bang, which we all know happened when? 13.8 billion years ago was the first time the universe could be described as hot, dense, and full of matter and antimatter and radiation and all of that, but there was stuff going on before that happened. Prior to the Big Bang, there was a period of cosmic inflation. This inflation leads to the growing of space-time, and this means that if that period occurred for an infinite amount of time, there could be an infinite amount of universes that are all finite, and one of these universes happens to contain ours. Does that make sense? This video really is all a person needs to feel exceptionally small and very insignificant. In our number eight spot today, we have daughter universes. Before I dive into this one, guys, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video so far. Let's try and make this the universe where this video has the most likes. Let's do it. This one is just a theory about if there are multiple parallel universes that exist and what they contain. This is where the theory of daughter universes comes into play. It is possible that multiple universes may follow the theory of quantum mechanics, which is how subatomic particles behave. Following the laws of probability, the daughter universes happen when you are faced with a decision. In our reality, you make your decision and it plays out one way, but in the daughter universes, they would each involve you making every other decision you could have made in that moment, which would then lead to whatever outcome that decision would have ended up leading to. This just means that there may be a universe for the opposite of every decision you've ever made in your life, and one for every decision anyone has ever made. How likely is this? I'm not sure, but if we ever find a way to jump to other universes, there goes the days of regret. In our number seven spot today, we have bubble universes. For this one, we need to imagine our universe as a bubble, which it kind of is. The swelling bubble of our universe is just one bubble among many. Well, as we all now know, it is possibly just one among an infinite amount, all of which are swelling and expanding. All these bubbles make up the multiverse. This itself is of course just a theory that was made in an attempt to understand the origins and beginnings of our universe, but now it is being researched further. Physicists have begun studies on how and when universes might collide and bubble up together. I do understand that this is not concrete proof or evidence, but we wouldn't be researching it if it wasn't a possibility. This research could potentially lead us in the direction where we get to see some real proof, or at the very least, give us a better understanding into the theories of how multiple universes exist and how they could potentially interact with one another. In our number six spot today, we have the lack of evidence. This evidence is more so about the lack of evidence there is to say that the multiverse doesn't exist. Many scientists find the idea of the multiverse alarming or even unscientific because of the fact that there's no way for us to test for it. There is no way to make predictions that fall in line with data and no way to really verify its existence, whether it's one parallel universe or an infinite amount. But there isn't really any evidence 
or data to support the theory that we are the only universe that exists. If our universe was created basically out of happenstance, what could stop another universe from being created at the same time or out of a similar happenstance? The idea and theory of the multiverse itself is relatively quite young and new, so it is possible that we will find the evidence to persuade most of us to one side or another, but as of right now, anything is possible. And maybe in another parallel universe, we already know all about the existence of this one. Maybe there's another me watching me make this video being like, oh, you don't know anything. In our number five spot today, we have the cold spot. The cold spot was first discovered in 2004, and it is basically just what it sounds like. It's an area in the universe that is slightly colder than that surrounding it. And when I say slightly, I really do mean very slightly. But when I call it an area, I'm talking about a huge one as it is around 1.8 billion light years across. It was first believed that this area may be colder due to a lack of galaxies, but a newer study suggested that that is not possible, which led researchers down a different path in search of new theories as to why the cold spot exists. One of the most exciting is the theory that this may have occurred due to a collision between our universe and another bubble universe. A bubble universe is what we just spoke about in the last part and they make up the multiverse, which would be the uncountable realms that all sit side by side, but that are in higher dimensions than our senses are able to interpret. This of course is a theory and it will require a lot of time and research before we can say for certain, but it truly is kind of crazy to think that a huge colder area of the universe could be due to a bump in with another universe entirely. In our number four spot today, we have the CMB. After the Big Bang, it took around 300,000 years for things to cool down enough in order to allow atoms to form and to allow light to travel freely. This was known as the recombination, and during this time, that is when the cosmic microwave background began. The CMB is electromagnetic radiation that fills all of space, and while the space in between stars and planets and such may seem to be completely dark, the CMB is there and can sometimes, through sensitive enough technology, be seen as a kind of glow. So, how does this play into what we're talking about today? Well, scientists noticed a sort of bruise on the CMB during research, which left them wondering why. This is what led to this next parallel universe theory. If our universes are all like bubbles and one bumps into the other, it's possible that they may merge even just for a second. This could cause some parts of one universe to spill into the other before eventually parting ways again, but this collision surely would leave some sort of a mark. And that mark just may be the bruise we saw in the CMB. In our number three spot today, we have the CMB part two. So you know what the CMB is now, and there's another thing we are looking for in it that might give us a sign of the multiverse. We thought we found evidence of this back in 2014, but it may have been a false detection, but we continue to look. Gravitational waves, which are ripples in space and time, are what we are looking for right now. The waves would have been left over from the Big Bang, and they could be putting tiny curls into the CMB. If found, this would prove the theory of cosmic inflation, which we discussed close to the beginning of this video in number nine, which would then lead us to the creation of multiple universes. It's all linked together in the most insane ways, but the universe is very cool and very complex. In our number two spot today, we have the Mandela Effect. So thinking about what we just talked about with the bruise and the CMB and if our bubble universes really did collide with some other universe and they had a moment where they may have been interconnected in some way, then this would explain the Mandela Effect. If you don't know, the Mandela Effect began being widely recognized when people began to swear that they could remember Nelson Mandela passing away in the 1980s. This is of course weird since he actually passed away in 2013. This time discrepancy had people obviously confused and it has happened with many other things such as the Berenstein Bears, the movie Kazam, and honestly a whole bunch of things. There are many theories as to why the Mandela Effect happens and one of them certainly is the belief in multiple universes and some sort of cross crossover happening between the two. This coupled with the possibility of colliding universes is hard to comprehend, but it does kind of make sense. In our number one spot today, we have the strange particle. This might be the most concrete evidence, but we still don't really know what it means. This evidence came to us originally in 2016, but it took a few years for it to be interpreted in the way that might suggest the potential of a parallel universe. During experiments and research in the Antarctic, researchers captured what seemed to be the signal of a high energy particle. This would be all well and fine, except for the fact that instead of coming down from above, this particle seemed to be exploding out of 
of the ground. Despite multiple attempts to explain why the signal was appearing this way, scientists were left with not a lot of options, and one of those has to do with the fact that this strange particle just may be proof of another parallel universe that is both exceptionally similar, but also the complete opposite of our own. In order to explain this particle, there would need to be the existence of another universe that was created during the same Big Bang that created our own and exists in parallel with ours. But this universe would have to be a mirror of our own, where left is right and right is left and positive is negative and time runs backwards. It's both the most simple and most complex idea that all started with one tiny, strange particle. Starting off this countdown, we have deja vu. We all know what deja vu is. I'm getting deja vu right now talking about it because I've done a video on deja vu before. But basically it's the feeling that something has already happened before and scientists have struggled to explain what causes it. Well, there's a theory out there that deja vu occurs when different universes are in sync for a short period of time. For example, maybe you're in the bathroom and you grab your toothbrush. In another universe, at the same time, maybe that version of yourself grabbed a hairbrush. Or in one universe, you pour a glass of wine, in another, you pour yourself a glass of champagne. Those things are happening at the same time, just with small differences. But you're in sync for that moment, and that's why you think to yourself, oh hey, I've done this before. Because in another universe, you just actually did. It's a crazy theory, but many believe it's true. I mean, for all we know, it is true. It's just hard to prove these things. Moving on at number nine, we have the dreams. And if you guys are liking this so far, then smash that like button because it really helps me out and I appreciate it and you're the best. Some scientists believe that dreams are actually glimpses into a parallel universe. By dreaming, you are seeing what yourself in another universe is doing. A thousand years ago, mystics believed that dreams are what are happening in a parallel universe. But they also believe that this universe was home to ghosts and spirits. Well, over the years, scientists have agreed with this theory, minus all the ghost and spirit stuff. Well, this could explain why some people have had vivid dreams of places that they have never visited. Maybe that's because their other self was currently there visiting it. Or when you see something in your dream and then the next day it happens in real life. That has happened to me on a number of occasions. Either you're psychic or you got an insight into another universe when you were dreaming and that's how you knew it was going to occur. Now, there is no way to prove this, but there's also no way to disprove this. And our eighth spot today, we have the Flintstones. Who loves this classic cartoon? That and the Jetsons were pretty iconic. Smash that like button if you agree. Now, the Flintstones are pronounced as so, so you would think it would be spelt as so. No, apparently it's the Flint. Stones with the hard T. Uh, I refuse to believe this. Now, you may be thinking, Lindsay, what's the big deal? Well, this is an example of the Mandela effect. I've talked about this before a lot. Basically, it's when a bunch of people remember something being a certain way, and another group of people remember it being a different way. The Mandela effect, for those of you who don't know, is named off of Nelson Mandela. Because people clearly remember him dying in prison in the 80s when he didn't actually pass away until 2013. So, theory goes that there are parallel universes out there. In this case, Case, we have the Flintstones universe and the Flintstones universe. Over time, maybe our universe is merged, which is why we have the memory of the Flintstones. The show was actually named that just in another universe. Little things like these are signs that multiple universes are out there. In our seventh spot today, we have the strange space signals. In spring of 2020, NASA legit thought they found concrete evidence of parallel universes. Basically, they detected some odd signals coming from the South Pole. It was so odd that they had no explanation for it besides parallel universes. So basically, they discovered that high energy neutrinos were coming up out of the earth and headed to the sky. In fact, they found that this energy was coming up from the earth instead of down from space. Now this was weird for a number of reasons. The fact it was going up suggests that when the big bang occurred, it formed two universes, one that flows forward and the other in reverse. Meaning the other universe is traveling back in time while we're moving forward. For them, the Big Bang represents an end, not the beginning. <sighs> That is mind blowing. In our sixth spot, we have Star Wars. This is another example of the Mandela effect, and it's going to make you freaking lose your mind. Who here is a Star Wars fan? Smash that like button or comment down below if you are. Well, even if you're not a fan, I'm sure you all have heard or seen that dramatic scene where it's revealed that Luke's father is, spoiler alert, Darth Vader. He goes, Luke, I am your father. Wrong. Apparently, he never even said that. Yet we all remember him saying the line exactly like that. And even huge Star Wars fans agree to this. Well, when you watch the scene, Luke says, he told me you killed him, in regards to Obi-Wan telling him that Darth Vader killed his dad. Then Darth Vader replies with, no, 
I am your father. So he never even says Luke, it's just no. What the actual heck? So again, people believe that this is a sign that we switched universes. In the other universe, the movie had Darth Vader say the line, Luke, I am your father. In this universe, he did not. I'm mad at that one. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the black holes. This next theory was created by Stephen Hawking, and that dude was a freaking genius. So if he believes that black holes are a signal from a parallel universe, then maybe I do too. So in 2016, Stephen Hawking created a study in which he proposed that black holes actually lead to another universe. Instead of destroying everything that goes near them, it just transports you into another universe. Previously, it was said that anything that gets sucked into the hole will be destroyed and lost forever. But in this case, they would just travel through and pop out into another universe. Maybe that's why scientists are starting to discover weird space objects that look unlike anything from our universe. It's because they're coming from a different universe. Maybe Stephen Hawking is onto something, and black holes are actually portals. In our fourth spot, we have the simulation. In 2018, researchers ran a massive computer simulation that involved building a new universe under a variety of different conditions. And they discovered that universes could still be created even with less dark energy as ours. Study co-author Pascal Alahi said, and I quote, even in universes with 300 times as much dark energy as ours, life found a way. Our simulation showed that the accelerated expansion driven by dark energy has hardly any impact on the birth of stars, and hence places for life to arise. Meaning other planets can exist in other universes, even if that universe was being torn apart by dark energy. He continued on saying, and I quote, even increasing dark energy many hundreds of times might not be enough to make a dead universe. They then went on to believe that aliens are living on planets in other universes. The reason we haven't found them yet is because they are in other universes, not ours. In our third spot, we have the pattern. A number of astronomers started picking up a weird signal coming from the sky. Basically, the signal will chime for four days, then after the fourth day, it'll stop. It will then stop for 12 days before picking up again and doing the same thing over and over again. It's thought that maybe on the days where it's not sending a signal towards us, it's actually actually sending a signal in another direction or to another universe. Some believe that this is coming from aliens or other life forms or from people in another universe. If not, what else could it be? The signal is very consistent and they still don't have an explanation for it. In our second spot, we have the silence of the lambs. Here's another Mandela effect example that will make you lose your mind. Okay. All of you have better seen the movie Silence of the Lambs. If you haven't, you're not a true horror fan. Anyways, for some reason, we all remember Hannibal Lecter going, Hello, Clarice. You know, that was my Anthony Hopkins impression. Pretty good one. And he says it in a really freaking scary way. But apparently, he never said that in the movie. He only has said good morning during their first meeting. This is not okay. I literally can picture him saying it right now. So here's another sign that there are multiple universes. There's a universe where Anthony Hopkins does hello, Clarice, and one where he doesn't. And in our number one spot today, we have the cosmic bruise. In 2017, cosmologists discovered a weird cold spot in the universe. After studying it, a number of people believe that this cold spot is a bruise that was left after our universe collided with another universe. Professor Tom Shanks in Durham University's Center for Extragalactic Astronomy said, and I quote, one explanation for the cold spot is that it might be the remnant signal of the collision of our universe and one of the trillions of others. In fact, the team found four bruises, meaning that our universe has collided several other times in the past, meaning there has to be multiple universes out there. All right, coming in at number 10, we have the deep space radio bursts. Mystery fast radio bursts were discovered in 2007. These bursts flash for a micro instant, but emit more energy than the sun does in 10,000 years. The high energy surges of long waves have been detected 18 times over the past 10 years, and one burst in 2012 recorded in Puerto Rico occurred numerous times in the same pattern. Okay, this is what it sounded like. After fierce debates and a lot of head scratching, the source of the sound was traced to a micro galaxy 3 billion light years away from Earth. A lot of theorists have concluded that the sound is a space signal from another world or a parallel universe looking to get in touch. 
Coming in at number 9 we have the man from Torrid. Were we sent a man from another parallel universe or did he arrive via some kind of portal or vortex? Our story here stems back to 1954 when a man was detained at the Japanese border after arriving on a plane from Europe to Hanada airport. The man said he was on his third business trip to Japan that year and he had a wallet filled with a mixture of currencies seeming to verify his business traveller status. When he presented his passport officials were absolutely baffled asking where he was from. Now the man who primarily spoke French said Torrid. Where is this mystery place? He showed his passport again and the stamps that supported his travels. The only thing is, nobody had ever heard of Torrid. The company he was travelling to said that they'd never heard of him and he was carrying a checkbook to a non existent bank. When he was asked to point out Torrid on the map, he pointed to where Andorra is today and seemed confused and offended to be told that it's not a real country. He was detained in a hotel overnight while Japanese authorities decided what to do with him, but by morning he disappeared. Did he accidentally walk through a portal to another universe? Maybe. Coming in at number 8 we have the Bernstein Bears Phenomena. Also called the Mandela Effect, the Bernstein Bears Phenomena claims to prove the existence of parallel universes with subtle differences. People vehemently claim that the Bernstein Bears were spelled with an E and not an A. And honestly, I for one absolutely thought that the Looney Tunes were the Looney Tunes until I watched a video on the phenomena last year and now I'm straight up convinced that I'm living in the wrong universe as it is clearly Looney Tunes. They're cartoons. This new world doesn't make any sense. Some people out there are also adamant that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the late 1980s, which is more than just a slightly altered timeline. It's not just spellings here, this is a pretty major parallel universe event. Coming in at number 7, we have Deja Vu. Deja vu, a glitch in the matrix or a signal from a parallel universe. While both seem as likely as one another, it is thought by some that the weird moments where we feel like we've been or experienced something before are actually signals that something key is happening in our parallel lives. Not only do some people believe parallel universes exist side by side, some people think they interact with one another in some way. According to Dr. Michio Kaku, an American American futurist, deja vu occurs as a result of a person's ability to flip between universes. Others believe it is because we're vibrating in unison with the frequency of another universe that's parallel with our very own. Oh, I've gone cross eyed. Coming in at number 6, we have the Lost Beatles album. A parallel universe may have given our world a gift in the form of a Lost Beatles album, Everyday Chemistry. This story goes that in 2009, a man called James Richards found himself self accidentally in a parallel universe, as you do. Luckily there was also a person from another parallel universe there, a man named Jonas. Now Jonas was on a trans dimensional tourism trip from the other earth and he told Richards that in his world, amongst other things, John Lennon was still alive and the Beatles never broke up. Richards then stole a copy of a later album never released by the band and returned with it to our earth. What did he do with one of the most sought after pieces of music from a non history that almost but never happened here? He uploaded it to the internet. Eagle eared fans were absolutely having none of it though. They said the album is comprised of clever mashups from all of the Beatles solo careers. Richards later said that even though in an alternate universe the Beatles hadn't broke up, that didn't mean their future music ideas disappeared. I'm not so sure about this one but I would love to hear what Paul McCartney has to say about it. Paul, tell us, is it real? I guess you're living in another universe so you don't know but I don't know. I feel like you'd be able to answer. Coming in at number 5 we have dreams. Could our dreams be signals from a parallel universe? Some say maybe. In a number of first nations cultures in North and Central America, people believe that dreams allow us to walk planes in other dimensions. Their reasoning is that dreams take place in colour and can include all of their senses. They think that when you're in a dream, you are in another world, perhaps a world you already exist in if you're doing doing something strange in your dream, maybe it's a sign that actually you live a far stranger life somewhere else. Coming in at number 4 we have the bruise. Anyone else here bruise like a peach? Just me? Me? And the universe. In 2010, along with a team of researchers, Stephen Feeney of the University College in London announced that he had discovered patterns in the radiation 
background left over from the Big Bang. Now this seemed to suggest that our universe bumped into not one, not two, but four other universes and was left bruised. Ok, what is the plural of universes? Universe I? Universe I? Universe I. Also, from the bruising, further researchers in California think that it is clear that this leads to some kind of like bubble universe theory, which maybe I can get on board with. Maybe Men in Black got it right when they imagined us all as marbles in a big bag. Coming into number three, we have the cold spot. In 2004, astronomers found something that baffled them, an unusually cold area of space. The area is 1.8 billion light years across and much colder than its surroundings. The area also contained 10,000 less galaxies than in other areas of a similar size studied in space. A researcher from Durham University in the UK believed that the spot could be evidence of a multiverse. They said it seemed as if a parallel universe smashed into ours affecting it like a car pile up on the motorway would, only they're calling it a cosmic shunt. They believe the impact was so vast it pushed energy out from a big region of space, therefore creating the cold spot. It's hard to get your head around, but that is what they think. Coming in at number 2, we have City in the Sky. In October 2015, Chinese TV went wild when thousands of residents in two areas of the country reported seeing a huge floating city in the clouds. Puzzled onlookers saw skyscrapers in the clouds and believed that they were seeing a ghost city or the colliding of our reality with a parallel universe. The phenomenon occurred in both Guangdong and Jiangxi, with some believing it was the beginning of an alien invasion. The images were caught on camera for the world to see and promptly went viral across the rest of the globe. So, what on earth or above earth is going on? Well, even though it looks like a city in the clouds to you and me, apparently. Apparently it is an optical illusion called Fata Morgana, which is a natural mirage. So that is what a lot of scientists are saying anyway, but other people are convinced it's a sign of a parallel universe or even a window to another world. Finally, coming into number one, we have black holes. The theory of loop quantum gravity suggests that there is no point of singularity in a black hole, rather, there simply folds in the universe. Everything we know about quantum physics tells us that information is never lost, that energy can't be created or destroyed, so perhaps black holes don't suck and destroy. Maybe they suck and create. A lot of scientists are dabbling with the idea that black holes are indeed folds or portals to an older part of the universe. Professor Stephen Hawking gave a lecture in 2015 wherein he discussed how it may be possible to come out of the other side of a black hole. He said the hole would need to be large, and if it was rotating, it might have a passage to another universe. But you couldn't come back to our universe. Anyone want to take that one way trip? I don't know if I do. 